Hey everyone, Correct Genes here, and this is the EVA ICS. Now, the EVA ICS is the successor to the EVA Dual, which is no longer produced, and it consists of 10 sliders, my phone will focus, five on each side, five here, five here, as well as three pin tumblers, which sit in these little grooves. They have sort of these directional key pins that are rather annoying to pick, to be honest. Now, this lock is very similar to the dual in a lot of ways, if you discount the existence of the um, pin tumblers and the uh, different keyway. The main thing about this lock in particular, which will be interesting for this picking process, is that this lock exhibits what is often called the ping pong problem. Now, the ping pong problem is, is an issue within certain slider locks with false gates in which sometimes sliders will bind so closely together that it is very, very, very difficult to get them to get set at the same time. The process of setting one will more often than not unset the other one. And this lock has multiple pairs which exhibit ping-ponging. Now, in general, if you're good at lifting out of false gates, the ping-pong problem doesn't show up as much because if you're more efficient at doing it, you'll be able to sort of skirt the edge of um, the binding uh, in a way that makes it so that things act sort of more independently. Um, this lock can't, can't really do that. It's just going to ping pong. There's not really a way around it. And unfortunately, there is not one single good solution to it that I've ever really been able to find. So during the pick, which um, is unfortunately going to be kind of long because of this, I'll try to talk through a little bit how I deal with the ping-pong problem in certain locks. It's sort of a mixture of very light tension and um, float picking a little bit, not going fully into the false gates, as well as a little bit of heavy tension in order to try to um, bind one of the sliders, say, to stay up in a position where it would normally fall down while you finish off the first slider that's, fall that's you know, it's ping-ponging with. Anyway, uh, you'll, get all, you'll get all of that later. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this clamped up and uh, get it picked. All right, here we go. Got my tight tension. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the top pins. To the best of my ability, at least. They are a little bit annoying to find, even though they're right there. They're strangely shaped. All right, click at a three. Click at a one. Click at a two. Messy click. And we are in a false set. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the sliders. Now, in an effort to not be a video about the World Series of Ping Pong, I have already, through practicing this lock, identified which pins bind together. And there are actually a few of them. And as some of you who have picked locks like these know, ping ponging sliders can be a real pain in the ass. And so I'll sort of show you the way that I try to get at them. I'm not going to do this perfectly, probably, but I've got my two clicks out of slider four there. Slider two has dropped back down. And what I've done is I've not gone all the way back down to the false set. And I'm going to try to park myself right where my tension needs to be in order for both of those to get up at the same time. And we'll see if I can make it happen. Okay. Two is up. Four is down. Now what just happened there was I hit four too hard and it knocked two down. And that tends to happen. So you're not even messing around with your tension at all. You're literally just hitting things too hard. It gives the sidebar a little bit of a bump. Knocks your pin down. That's something to avoid. So you can tell right there, I just clicked up number two again. And you heard four fall because it shocked the sidebar. So 
So what I'm going to try to do is hit a sweet spot where I don't need to use any pick pressure at all to get this slider up and try to get both of these up at the same time. Easy does it. Okay, I think I might have gotten both of them. Let's check four. Nah, no, we did not. Okay, four is up. And two is up. Hopefully. There's another pair like this on the other side as well. No, four is not up. God damn it. I just heard two drop as well. Okay, I'm applying heavy tension right now. I'm going to attempt to get two to stay up. Alright, four is up. And two is not, I'm like an asshole. Okay, two is now up, one is binding. One is set. I believe two is set. Four is set. Three is binding. All right, heard something drop. Let's find out what it is. Okay, two is up there. Four is up there. Let's make sure two is all the way up. It feels like it. Sorry, this video is probably going to be a little bit long. There's not a whole lot I can do about these ping pong and pins. All right, I think we got the right side. All right, cool. Now, uh, better believe that on the left side, 
there's another pair of pins that do the exact same goddamn thing. So we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, in this case, it's pins two and three, or sliders two and three. And then slider five also is very annoying to get up top as well. So got a little bit of luck involved. This lock is extremely finicky. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, it's definitely, this is probably the most challenging slider lock I've ever had to deal with. And I don't know if this is common in ICS or if it's just this one in particular. I mean, it is a challenging lock in general. But this one, this one gives me a lot of trouble. I also have a WSW with the same problems, so you might get to see me play more ping pong later. Oh, I'm shaking my camera. Sorry about that. All right, I just felt two drop. We're on the left side now, so that's two on the left. Working on three. Why is my camera shaking? Okay, there was a click. I think it just dropped back down. Yeah, it just dropped back down. Guess I need to go a little bit deeper. Okay. Two is binding. Might have gone too deep. Come on. All right, let's reassess. Two is loose, so something else. Okay, it was three. It dropped partially out. Two is actually set right now. Cool. Three is also set. All right. Five is binding. Wish me luck. There's one click. here dropping. There's another click. It's not staying up. Something else dropped. Okay. Two dropped. Three dropped. You guys get the point. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Come on, three. I'm not gonna go fully in. Okay, I felt three partially drop right there. Okay, two's out of the gate. How's three doing? Okay, three is up there. We're back to five. Five is in its second gate. Heard drop again. Damn it. Okay, three dropped. Two dropped. All right, three needs another click. Okay. Okay. 
reassess to its binding. Okay, to its set. Alright, two and three are set again. We're back to five. Nope, he's not binding yet. All right now he is. Gonna be a little bit more forceful with the pick now. See if I can't get him up earlier and just knock him in place. <laughs> I'm resonating with the cord from my microphone. Okay, I felt I felt him go up. back down. Sorry for the long video guys, but uh, this lock just likes to do this shit. There we go. Got it. Ah. <sighs> Like I said, I've never, sorry about the shaking. My uh, hand was just making all that happen. Let's go ahead and pop the shackle for fun. There we go. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> that was resonating with my cord. I have a new microphone, hope you like it. Um, but it happens to have a cord and that cord likes to shake my camera. All right, let's get this. Well, let's leave the vice handy because we will use it to get. Come on, focus. There we go. All right, lock is picked. Let's get this locked back up. There we go. And let's get our tension out. There it goes. Alrighty. This is the first time I've ever actually picked something inside of a padlock in this channel. Hooray for milestones. I'll try to be quick about the gut. I know this is going long already. Like I said, I wish I could pick this faster, but you saw my problems. I guess that screw is just in there. Whatever. Cool. Back in the vise. Ah, sorry, my focus is all over the place. Come on. Here we go. Uh, pliers, where'd you go? Here we go. All right, and these rings are going to fly off into the stratosphere. I'm not going to worry about it now. I'll find them later. Oh, this one just came off normally. Oh, wait, they just both came off. Hey, today is my lucky day. What do you know? Normally, I have to go find them. All right, put the vise away. Tilt the camera down. Zoom Rooney, and we are operating. Let's get that light off. Don't need it. Um, now, other videos I've seen of this lock, got it with a shim. You don't actually need to do that. You can just turn it, because unlike, let me zoom out a bit while I do this. Unlike something like the dual, this one does not have grooves all up in the uh, core. So you can just 
take it out like normal. Let's put that there. And there's not going to be an issue. All right, sidebar first, or both of them. So like I mentioned earlier, the reason, part of the reason I needed that really tight tension was not just because of the ping-ponging, it's because these sidebar springs are actually relatively weak in comparison to a lot of other stuff. So it doesn't give you the return force you need. You can see we've got the five sidebar little grooves that correspond, that uh, go up into the gates. Same thing on the other side. Got those grooves. Cool, cool. All right, let's pop the uh, pins out. So these are those, yeah, weird directional pins. So they, you can see that this one is sort of on the right side and these go up into those. You can see that groove on the key is only on that side. So this would go in like this. And that makes them rather annoying to uh, locate with your pick. But at the same time, it gives them more bidding options and so more power to them. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing in record time. Because I don't want to keep you guys. You got stuff to do. Everyone has important things in life. Oh, there's a slider in the way. Cool. All right, flip Rooney. I'm sorry, I'm so far away. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you. There we go. Can't be having that. Um, I realized that I'm indexing these on the uh, tray as five to one as opposed to one to five and it bothers me as much as it probably bothers you and I'm very sorry. It's just something that I tend to do because I go on autopilot and just reverse things. And you know what? It might bite me in the ass at some point, but it hasn't yet. So hey. Alright, ten sliders. And let's dump some springs. Now these springs appear to be more or less the same thing that you get in the dual. Those real long, long boys. All right, that should be all of them. There's our core. And finally, I can find my other goddamn tweezers. We have the drivers. And these are just standard steel drivers. They're big boys though. They're the big Eva steel drivers. Look at that big boy. It's a nice long driver. And the springs are, of course, the same, well, to each other. They're not the same as the other springs. Where the fuck is the third one? Oh, 
There it is. I'm blind. There we go. Now, one thing I have not done yet is give you a good look at these gates. So let's do that. Each of these sliders has three gates. So we have two false gates and a true gate. So at most, you have to go through both false gates in order to get to the true gate. And uh, yeah, tolerances on this lock are a bitch. I don't know if it's because it was a new lock. I did get this lock new. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, Eva does a really good job. We got that nice ping pong action. I've honestly never experienced something quite so annoying. Like all the asset twins I've picked, all that stuff. Never, I mean, I've had ping pong issues, but nothing quite like this. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle with that. Anyway, um, that's it for the um, EVA ICS. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.